we had another question about welcoming a new baby into the family. And of course, welcoming a new baby into a family is always a blessed event, but it's also an event filled with lots of stress and can be a difficult time for parents and for the entire family because the family needs to rearrange itself into a new constellation. Up until now, I'm not quite sure how many children the, the person who asked the question has, but if you're used to your family with two or three kids and now you're adding another one, a third or fourth, well, everybody kind of needs to shift just like you're shifting into new motherhood again or new fatherhood, your children are shifting too. And that takes a lot of effort. And we've, this, this period of Corona, as it is, takes a lot of effort. It is a stressful time. It's interesting when we talk about stress and what stress is, one of the things we always say is that there are good stresses and there are more challenging stresses. Uh, stress isn't necessarily bad. So moving to a new house could be a stress, even if it's a house that we want to move to. Starting a new job can be a stress. Getting married, bat mitzvah, bar mitzvah, and certainly having a new baby um, are sources of stress. And that, on top of the existing stress, may be a bit much. So what can you do? Obviously, when you're welcoming a new baby into the family, you want to prepare the children, each one at their own level, for what's to come. And you want to make sure that the children, the older children, do get some of the attention that they need. Uh, in addition, perhaps they may need some more attention at this time. So if you're not able to give it, perhaps think about who in your environment can fill in and give them some of what they need. I think, you know, one of the beauties of living in extended families is that not everything falls upon the parents. In this day and age, particularly during Corona, we've kind of come back to the very small nuclear family. But I do think that you can call upon help from friends and family, even if they can't come in person, they can come in Zoom, they can play with your children, they can read them books, they can interact with them and give them some of the attention that they need during this time. Um, I think it's also really important to plan ahead and think of what kind of help you can get for yourself, whether it's household help, help with shopping, help with laundry, what kind of help can you get to reduce your pressures and stress so that you'll have more energy and more time to give to your children and of course to your baby. But hopefully it will be a smooth transition and you will look back upon this time as a very special time. I think we are nearing the end of our questions. I'm just going to check my list one more time. The final question has to do with figuring out what to do first. The person who asked the question said, there are so many roles we now need to play, so many things that we may have uh, hired out or um, had other people do for us. Now we are not only educating our children, taking care of the house, cooking, shopping, cleaning, um, doing our work jobs very often from afar. Um, how are we supposed to handle this all? How do we figure out what we can do what we should do. It's like a, a no-win situation if we try to do it all.